Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this floppy text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple and cool tips and tricks inside of After Effects. And if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff in advance then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses. All links are available in the description and you can join my Motion Pro membership as well which is just for 59 rupees. You'll get access to new videos, advanced motion graphic tutorials, blender tutorials, cinema 4D tutorials and much more and it would be a support for my channel as well. And if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any much more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition and we are going to call it as main animation width we are going to choose 1920 uh, and height we are going to choose 180 frame rate is 30 and duration we are going to choose 60 seconds and background color is white color and simply hit OK. Then let's name this option fit and let's go to the choose grid and line option and click on title selection. Then I'm going to press Ctrl N and we are going to name it as Trip. And then width we are going to choose 1080 and height 1080 and simply hit OK. Then go to choose Grid and Guide option and make sure that you are hitting on this uh, title selection. Then after that I'm going to select my rounded rectangle and for the fill I'm going to choose black color and simply double click to create the entire rectangle. Then go to the rectangle option, rectangle path. And let's uh, decrease the size of this rectangle and also de increase the roundness of it. Okay, like that. Then let's hit U to minimize it. Then select your text tool and let's type our text uh, M O V E. Okay, and then select this text and press Ctrl and O. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and let's scale this size a little bit like that. Then I'm going to select this text and I'll change the color of this one to red. Then I'll select this text and hit Ctrl D and change to white. And let's remove this uh, remaining text. Let's select this M and press Ctrl Alt O. Zoom in a little bit, press V and let's try to move this over here like that. And hit Ctrl D and let's uh, change this text to O. And select this and press Ctrl Alt O and press V and let's try to bring this over here well, okay. then select this O and hit Ctrl D again and let's change this text to V select this text and let's try to bring this over here then select this V and hit Ctrl D and let's change this text to E select this E and let's move this over here find like that and let's make this fit and now we are going to remove this move work then I am going to select this uh, M over here and press S for steering option to create one keyframe. Similarly, press P for position to create another keyframe. At the same time, I'm going to select this O, V, E. Press P for position to create one keyframe and press S for steering animation. And let's lock this shape here. Now we will hit U so we can see all the keyframes. At one second, I'm going to increase the scale of this text to somewhere around 1400 uh, or uh, 1500 maybe like that go to the align tab and choose align horizontally so it will automatically come at the center and i'm going to select this o, uh, uh, ove and i'll try to bring this somewhere up to this okay but as you guys can see it's not uh, you know uh, going it's kind of going outwards to its so let's press e or you can simply bring this position a little bit over here and let's try to reduce the scale of this and to 1400 to see or let's say 1300 yeah i think this much looks good to me so let's keep it as it is so we will get something like that then we will take a gap of uh, somewhere around 10 seconds then i am going to select all of them and create one keyframe at position and one keyframe at scale then we will zoom in and we will go to around 2.10 frames and now we will copy the first keyframe of each and every one. Hit Ctrl C, Ctrl V, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Okay, just like that. Now we are going to increase the scale of this O 
to somewhere 1300 like that okay then go to the align them align it horizontally like that then select this and press v and let's try to bring this over here and select this v and e and let's try to bring this over here like that so if you see this animation from this angle we will get something like that then again take a gap of 10 frames and delete select around there by holding shift create one keyframe at position and one keyframe at scale zoom in a little bit let's go to around mm, one uh, second forward and now again okay, we will do the same thing we will copy first keyframe so with ctrl c ctrl v ctrl c ctrl v ctrl c ctrl v and ctrl c ctrl v okay then we will select this v and let's make this one three zero zero just like the previous one go to the align depth and we are going to choose align horizontally then select this o and m and let's try to bring this over here then select this e and let's try to bring this over here like that then again take a gap of 10 frames select all of those and create one keyframe at position and one keyframe at scale then go to around 5 again i am going to follow the same procedure copy paste first keyframes like that and this time uh, we need to increase the size of this e so let's make this one be zero zero like that go to the align tab and choose align horizontally over here and uh, let's uh, select those and by holding shift i'll try to bring them over here like that then again take a gap of 10 frames like that select create one keyframes like that so if you check it out this we got this we got this 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 and then after taking up a gap of few frames at the 6.10 frames i'm going to hit ctrl c ctrl v the first frame like that okay then again i'll take a gap of 10 frames over here and i'll create another key frame okay then if i hit n over here and if i see this animation let's make this fit i'll keep this this like that okay now what we need to do over here let's check it out where is uh, no keyframe at this point i didn't created any keyframe on scale so uh, just to do that let's try to create uh, keyframes on those layers okay after that select those keyframes and let's hit f9 go to the graph uh, select this graph and uh, by holding shift uh, one handle at this point and let's know one handle and this one okay so if you check it out this animation now we will get something like that over here like this okay and then uh, this animation is ending at this point so i'll right click and choose trim comp to work here then go to the main animation comp and let's bring those strip over here like that okay then press ctrl y to create one solid background and let's change the color of this one to red and try to bring this downwards select this straight hit o to go at the end then press ctrl alt t on your keyboard to enable time enable frame mapping and before this last keyframe create one keyframe and delete this last keyframe we don't need that and alt click on the stop watch and let's apply loop out expression on it like this and disable and then from here i'm going to bring one marker so it would be easy for us to understand then this is our looping point and let's increase the duration of this strip like that okay now i'm going to select this strip i'll press s for scaling option and i'll decrease the scale of this go to the align tab and try to bring this at this point then go inside this and press ctrl y to create one solid background and i'm going to choose white color and i'll bring this one downwards then go to this and now uh, we need to create four copies of it because our text are four uh, alphabets so let's select this and hit ctrl d by holding ctrl uh, i try to bring this over here again hit ctrl d by holding ctrl snap it properly again hit ctrl d bring this over here and snap it now all the three remaining layers make it apparent with four which is this one and press y for pen behind tool and by holding control try to bring this anchor point at this point and let's try to you know adjust the scale in such a way that it should uh, you know 
So for the entire portion, so let's make this 44.5 uh, Okay, like that. And now if you check it out, this animation over here that uh, we will get something like that. Okay, over here. Now, uh, after this, uh, what I want is that there should be some alternation between this animation. So I'm going to take a gap of one one frames and uh, I'm going to bring this over here and this over here like that okay so we'll get this then i'll go to the start and i'm going to save this and i'll try to bring this somewhere else at this point okay then select all of the interest control should see and we are going to call it a zero one or zero one text and hit okay okay and i know that my animation is in the form of look at this point okay so i'll select this and i'll hit control d I'm going to select the second layer and I'll press P for position to place one keyframe. I'll go to at this point and I'm going to move this from here to here. You can hide this first layer. And let's try to bring this totally at this point. Over here, it should touch this end of this composition like that. And then enable your first layer and make it apparent with the second one. So now if you check it out this animation, you're going to get this kind of a animation over there okay then select those two and press ctrl shift c and we are going to call it an animation zero one and hit ok go inside this hit u go over here and hit n and right click and choose string com to work to here then go to the main animation over here hit ctrl d and let's bring this uh, somewhere around over here then select this hit ctrl d and let's uh, bring this somewhere around over here up to this one okay like make sure that both of these layers or all of these layers select those and choose align horizontally okay go to the end and hit any of them okay so we will get this kind of stuff over here like that now after this what i want is that i'm going to select these layers as well i'll hit o to go at the end and press ctrl alt e and before the last keyframe, create another keyframe. And let's uh, delete this uh, last keyframe. And uh, I'll click on this stopwatch and let's apply loop out expression on it. And copy that expression and hit Ctrl V on those thing. And now, what I can do is that uh, hit U and we have this and this layer. Let's select those right click and choose time or time reverse layers. So now what will happen that they are going to animate in another direction like that. Okay. And this animation is going to be in the form of loop in which means the final frame and initial frame is same because as from end as you just can see it's in the form of loop over here. You can bring this up to this as well just to check it out whether it is in the form of loop. And yeah, this is how you can create this kind of a looping text animation inside of After Effects. Mm -hmm.